Hello students, welcome to VTech Academy and in today's video we are going to discuss about percentages. Not just the simple percentages but also we would teach you how you could find complicated percentages. Percentages are generally fractions expressed in parts of 100 and uh, this would be easier to understand if you watch this example. So let's say if you would like to find 30% of 500. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do here is you need to multiply 500 by 30 and divide by 100. Now what happens here is that 500 multiplied by 30 would give you 15,000 and the next step would be dividing it by 100. So 15,000 by 100 would give you the answer of 150 and that is the answer of the question which is 30% of 500. Now let's say you have gone to a mall and you have found that they are offering you 30% discount on a product which is valued at $500. So what is the final amount you need to pay to them? Now we have already shown you the result of 30 percent of 500 which is 150 so you can say that 150 dollars is the discount you're getting but the actual amount which you need to pay to them is 500 dollars less the 150 dollars discount that's the 30 percent discount which would give you the actual answer that is 350 dollars so that can clearly give you an idea on how to find the discount on some number in the form of a percentage now these were some simple examples and these are the percentages which you generally find on in your normal life but let's move towards some complicated percentages so let's take an example finding a percentage of a number like 600 so let's say the example is 32.5 percent of 600 now this is actually complicated because 32.5 wow this is actually complicated and hard to find out generally without a calculator but in this video we're going to show you how you could find the same the first thing what you need to do is you need to break the percentage number that is 32.5 into different fractions. Now breaking into fractions is something like you need to actually make this simpler. So the first one which you could make is 25% followed by 5% and then 2.5%. Summing up all of this would actually again come back to 32.5%. So you now have to find individual percentages like 25% of 600. 5% of 600 and 2.5% of 600. So 25% of 600 is again 1 fourth of 600 which is again easy to calculate. You don't need a calculator as such. It would be 1 fourth that is 150 followed by 5% which is again easy. Just comes to answer of 30. And then as I mentioned in the earlier example 2.5% is always the half of 5% which is again 15. Now you need to sum up all these answers and you get the total as 195. Now that, that was very easy, right? So in short, the percentages of any numbers can be found even if they are simpler or if they are complicated. The only thing is you need to find the right way to find them. In this case, we have broken down the percentage into fractions and given you the answer. Let me show you the same logic in the form of a different example and in this case what I'm going to find is 67.5% of 840. I have already mentioned you the logic earlier which is breaking the percentage into different fractions. Now when I say that you actually would have guessed it. We are breaking the number 67.5 into different fractions which would be easy to calculate. So the first one which we would do is 50%, 10, 5 and 2.5. As you can see, these are all round figure numbers and these are all easy to calculate. So 50% of 840 would be 420. 10% is simply 84. You just have to remove the zero from the final answer. 5% as obvious would be the half of 10% comes to 42. And 2.5% would be again half of the above result. That's 5% which comes to 21. Now you need to sum up all this and the answer would be 567. So as you have learned here, we can easily find the percentages of complicated numbers or complicated percentages in general without the need of any calculator. And you can do it on a very small paper. So it's very easy to use these kind of tricks and find the answers or percentages of any numbers. Hope by now you should have understood the concept of percentages and understood everything which we have taught in this video. Do let us know in the comment section if you have any queries around percentages and we would be happy to help you. Do like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you.